Well, just after that gig, you can see the state of me. I'm completely soaking wet. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I was just it's it's trying to, you know, give off as much energy as the crowd give back to me. Uh, it's always really important to have a, a good relationship with the crowd. Um, I've played for Trans Energy on the main stage in 2008 before, and yeah, yeah. last year in 2009 I played uh, three three Trans Energy events in Australia. I uh, played in Melbourne, Sydney, yeah. and Perth. So tonight is my fourth fourth time playing for Trans Energy. Sorry, my fifth. I can't <laughs> count. Sorry. <laughs> my fifth that time. many? Yeah. Which, which one was the best one? Uh, Oh, that, that's difficult. I mean, tonight was amazing, but you know, I think playing in the main stage is a lot of DJs' dreams. You know, there's a lot of people out there who really want to play the main stage. And uh, in 2008, I just I couldn't believe when I got the email through saying, "Mark, would you like to play?" And I was just like, <laughs> you know, I fell off my chair. Uh, so yeah, but I mean, tonight was probably equally as good. I didn't actually know anything about the hard stage. I didn't know how many people were going to be there. I didn't really know um, the size of each room. Because uh, when I played in the main stage the last time, I didn't really walk around much. I, I really stayed on the main stage. But tonight, I've, I've walked around, and it's good to see that there's other really big stages as well. Um, I think there's like about five or six thousand people in the room that I was playing, so it's still a, a massive crowd to play to. Well, it's just I'm just trying to keep as busy as possible. Um, I try and release as many tracks as I can, but at the same time, I don't want to release too many because you're in danger of uh, overkill. So I try and release at least one one track every month, whether it's a remix or a detox release or maybe something released on Armada or High Contrast or you know the other other labels that I work for. Um, so I'm just working hard. I've got a new single out just now called Seismic that I recorded yeah. with Dr. Willis. Um, that was recorded last year when I was doing the Trans Energy tour. Uh, Dr. Willis is my agent, so I was working with him and uh, recorded the, the seismic track in Melbourne. And I also did a remix of Storm, the Storm track with him as well. And uh, Armada have just cleared that, and it's that's out for release just now. Uh, I've done a bootleg remix of C.J. Boland, the Prophet, the Prophet, sorry, which I did with James Allen. Um, trying to think what else I've got coming up. Um, I've remixed the Drop by uh, Jonas Stenberg and Dave Schumann, who are yeah, two young producers, obviously Dave Schumann's from Poland, oh, yeah, yeah. and uh, Jonas is from Sweden, I think. But these guys are definitely two, two guys to look out for, really, really good producers, doing a lot of good stuff just now. And I'm working on a solo album as well, which I've, I've never really done. I've, I've done an album before with Public Domain, but I've never done an actual solo album as Outburst, so that's a big priority for me. The only problem for me just now is because I've released so many different tracks with different labels, it's going to be hard to try and pull them all in and, and maybe to put them all in one single album. So I think I'll have to write maybe 10 or 12 brand new tracks that have never been released before. So that's that's starting this week. Okay. So I've got some tracks, ideas already, but this, as of Monday, that's my, my project for the rest of the year. I've already knocked back about four or five uh, remix projects because I really want to concentrate on my own productions and my own actual single releases for the new album. I think, I think just now, I mean, it, there's a lot, there's, there's just so many young producers coming through that I've got so much respect for. But I'd probably say my top just now is W and W. The two guys, uh, Ward and Willem, yeah. from uh, W and Willem or Willem, uh, from W and W, have just really switched on. They're, they're great guys to work with as well. I know them pretty well and we've like a good few laughs with them at gigs and stuff. And uh, they're just releasing a lot of really good music in Armada. Uh, Dave Sheehan's obviously one to look out for. Um, I, I kind of got Dave involved with Detox in uh, nine, uh, sorry, 2000 and I think it was 2005. Uh, got him to remix Live and Learn for me. So he's definitely one to look out for. Uh, Jonas Stenberg's doing loads of good stuff. Uh, that's probably the, the three top newcomers. Um, the guys, that are, other guys that I support are obviously Paul Webster, who's been around for a few years now. He's doing a lot of good stuff. Um, I played his remix of. Uh, Jam X and De Leon tonight, which went down an absolute storm. Uh, and I obviously support John O'Callaghan and, and Sander Van Doer. They're probably my two four favourite producers. Uh, got loads of respect for Armin, Paul Van Dyke, you know, all these guys who've been in the scene for, for a long, long time. I've got a lot of respect for these guys. Realistically, it's going to be the, the it's maybe the end of the year. It might even be 2011, early 2011, by the time I get everything finalised and 
you know, get it. I've not even thought about what label it's going to be on yet. I just need to do a lot of thinking, but I think that will come with time once the album's finished, and maybe even halfway through the album, I'll, I'll know what kind of tr- how the tracks are sounding and what label's going to suit them, and I'll maybe start to send out a few tasters to people and try and get a buzz going. Um, so it's, it's all full steam ahead. Yeah, well, I mean, to be honest, you know, I, I played in uh, Good Grief in the UK last night, and I've been signed to PFA, I'm part of Good Grief, and last night was my debut playing for Good Grief, and obviously playing at Trans Energy tonight, so I've been preparing lots of music for these gigs because they're obviously very important. Obviously, Migration to Heaven is going to be important for me as well, so I've, I've still got maybe two weeks to get some, some other tracks finished and finalised, uh, but I, I have already got a lot of new tracks to play. I mean, a lot of the stuff I played tonight, I've yeah. not really played anywhere else. So they'll all be getting played at Migration to Heaven and I'll be um, finishing off hopefully a new single uh, next week and I've got a few more bootleg ideas and stuff to get finalised as well. So there's still, I've, I've been working really hard the past few weeks but I'm still going to try and work a bit harder just to get another maybe two tracks finished for the, the gig. So fingers crossed. I can only do so much. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Mark Sherry here from Outburst. I'm looking forward to seeing all my Polish fans on the 17th of April at Migration to Heaven. See you soon.